Hi all, welcome to the new episode of Tech Insert. These are super capacitors and its appearance are similar to a button cell. Subscribe to my channel for getting new videos like this. Also press bell icon so you will never miss any videos from my channel. We will closely look into the details of this. You can realize its size referring to my hand. Its value you can see clearly. It is having 5.5 volt maximum and its capacitance is 1.5 farad. Normally we will use capacitors with capacitance in microfarads but here the capacitance is referred as farads which is very high. Those are the leads of this capacitor. We can insert these leads in a socket or we can solder these leads in a PCB or whatever we like. Super capacitors are also available similar to radial capacitors. Radial capacitor means the both leads are in one side similar to our normal capacitor. Super capacitors are polarized capacitor which means it has polarity. In normal capacitors you can see a negative line printed at the wrapper of this capacitor. That lead is actually the negative line. Similar to that here also you can see a, an arrow showing negative line. This arrow is pointing to the top top region that means this end is at negative and the other end is positive since it is having very large capacitance it can hold more charge and discharge to a high resistive load for a long time another advantage is we can charge these capacitors immediately the disadvantages are first one available in low voltages only so we have to connect the capacitors in series to form our required voltage that will actually decrease the capacitance Yet another disadvantage is in low resistive loads it discharges immediately. Another one is very costly. We can connect three capacitors in serial for doing an operation in 12 volt. We will connect these capacitors in serial and will charge it and will try to light this LED. Then we will analyze how long the LED will light up using the charge from these capacitors. We are not going to solder these capacitors. Instead of we will be using a female socket wires for to connect these capacitors in serial. So the total capacitance will be 0.5 farad. Super capacitors with 3000 farads are also available in the market. This is the way we are connecting the capacitors in series. Now I am powering the capacitor using the 12 volt from my bench power supply. Parallelly I am connecting the LED to the power supply. This is a dual color COB LED which is common anode. The brightness of this LED is so powerful that we cannot look on it. I will mask the LED with this one so that the brightness will not create problem to the camera. Now what will I do is I will switch off the bench power supply. Please watch the decrease in LED brightness. Now the LED is lighting from the charge of the capacitors. I don't know the reason. The moment I disconnected the power supply, the voltage across the capacitor becomes 8 volt and it is decreasing gradually from that point. Theoretically this should gradually decreasing from 12 volt. Instead of that it is decreasing from 8 volt. If somebody knows about the reason, please comment on this video. That will help the people who are watching this video. The outering of the COB LED is white light and the center portion is cool white. Let's see what will happen if I connect the cool light using the capacitor charge so the question is do we need to buy it now for using it as an immediate charging cell my suggestion will be not now the super capacitors are very costly and we are not getting advantage of that cost 
these capacitor batteries are using inside satellite launching vehicles so the technology of making super capacitor is changing and also become cheaper with higher capacity soon please like and share this video among your friends please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this that will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you this is tech insert signing off see you in another video till then Goodbye and please take care.